The second question is from the same listener, and it reads, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16-17 through 17 says, Do you not know that you are a temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. If that doesn't mean booze and tobacco, then what does it mean? All right, I'll grant you that that takes in booze and tobacco. Certainly booze defiles the body. I certainly agree with that. And I think today that anyone that smokes a cigarette is very foolish, not for any moral reason, but for this reason of lung cancer. And if you've ever had cancer in your lung, you know how terrible it is. I've had that. And a great many people think I had lung cancer. I did not have lung cancer. I had breast cancer that went into my lung. It was not lung cancer, and it was never caused by the use of tobacco. Although at one time when I was very young, I did smoke, but I gave that up, and I never did inhale, and I never had a cigarette in my mouth during my life. I always was afraid of the cigarette even before there was all of the talk about it being, you know, a cause of cancer. And I would say that any man or woman smoke cigarettes are being very foolish, and certainly they defile the temple of God in that sense. But you see, this party mentioned these two, but didn't go any farther. Now, I have a letter here. I don't have it right before me, but it's over here on my desk at the side, and that letter is from a woman who's through our radio program has been saved from drugs and from liquor and from tobacco and obesity. Huh. Now, I'd never heard all of them put together before, but had you ever stopped to think that we Americans, most of us, are overfed? Many of us are gluttons. And did you know that that's one of the sins that defiles the body that you and I have today? So that I would say to you very candidly, there are others. And then how about a bitter tongue that uses vile language? You're defiling your body by the use of that language. There are many ways in which you can defile your body today. There are other things, but you only mentioned these two. I'm mentioning these other things, and in God's sight, they're just as bad as the other. You know, it's interesting that God said there were seven things that he hated, and you know what the number one on his hate parade is? A lying tongue, and one of the ways you can defile this body of yours is to have a lying tongue. So you see that when you get down to the nitty-gritty, you're going to find that there are other things that are covered. But unfortunately, a great many people, that they just don't put anything in but booze and tobacco. There's other things that belong there also.